In this session of integral calculus, we will discuss the line, surface and volume integrals. In electrodynamics, we encounter several different kinds of integrals, among which the most important are line or path integrals, surface integrals or flux and volume integrals. First, we will discuss the line integral. A line integral is an expression of the form integral a to b v dot dl where v is a vector function and dl is an the infinitesimal small displacement vector and the integral is to be carried out along a prescribed path p as shown in the figure which is from a to b. If the path in the question forms a closed loop that is if b equal to a we shall put a circle on the integral sign as integral v to v dot dl form along a closed path. At each point on the path, we take the dot product of v evaluated at that point with the displacement dl to the next point on the path. So we will be taking v dot dl over every point. To a physicist, the most familiar example of a line integral is the work done by force F, where the work done is represented as integral F dot dl. Ordinarily, the value of a line integral depends critically on the particular path taken from A to B. But there is an important special class of vector functions for which the line integral is independent of path and is determined entirely by the endpoints. A force that has this property is called conservative. Now we will discuss surface integrals. A surface integral is an expression of the form integral v dot dA, where v is again some vector function and dA is an infinitesimal patch of area with direction perpendicular to the surface as shown in this figure. There are of course two directions perpendicular to any surface. So the sign of a surface integral is intrinsically ambiguous. If the surface is closed like forming a balloon in which case we shall again put a circle on the integral sign integral v dot dA over a closed surface. Then tradition di dictates that outward is positive but for open surfaces it is arbitrary. If we describe the flow of a fluid that is a mass per unit area per unit time then integral v dot dA represents the total mass per unit time passing through the surface. Hence the alternative name flux. Ordinarily, the value of a surface integral depends on the particular surface chosen, but there is a special class of vector function for which it is independent of the surface and is determined entirely by the boundary line. Now we will discuss volume integral. The volume integral is an expression of the form integral t d to where t is a scalar function and d to is an infinitesimal volume element. In Cartesian coordinates we can write d to is equal to dx dy dz. For example, if t is the density of a substance say which might vary from point to point then the volume integral would give the total mass. 